Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This design was because I saw everybody else using the flames and of course I have to do what everybody else is doing. So I ordered them and I had a design in my head which incorporated the sugar, the nail sugar um, flakies that I'd just got um, and the name of it was Fire and Ice so that was kind of what inspired this but I found it, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be to use these stickers they're lovely, they're so thin and they look beautiful on the nail but because they're so thin um, I struggled to control them if that's the right word and trying to get them in place where I wanted them to be was an absolute nightmare now I don't know if that's just me or if anybody else has had those struggles but once we're on the nail I couldn't get them smoothed out so I just kept going and put them on and smoothed them as much as I could with my silicon tool um, and moved on to the next nail. And I think this is the one that ripped. <laughs> I actually ripped one when I was trying to move it around. But I just stuck it kind of back together and left it on the nail and smoothed it out. And I do like how they look. I just wasn't keen on the application. As usual, there was so much faffing about to try and get it right, so I've cut out a fair wee bit of my moving things around. But then once I was semi-happy with them, I top-coated them, I think I top-coated them twice actually, um, just to make sure that they were covered and safe and sound. And then that was those nails done. And I was very happy about that. Um, yeah, I might top-coated them as well. I forgot about that. So I wanted to add some jewels to some other fingers. These ones are genuine Swarovskis, Swarovskis, and they are from Scatter Crystals, I think. So just painting on a, it was either a base or a top coat I put on, um, I'm not very sure which, and just moving them around to get them where I want them. Um, I really like this, it's like the teardrop slash raindrop design for the Swarovskis, and I really liked it. Um, as you can see, it didn't want to go where I wanted it to be. But um, eventually I got there and cured it and that was fine. On to the pinky and I done the same again, put a base coat on. And this time I used, I, I can't quite remember what they're called, it's like an ice block or something. Um, they're absolutely beautiful, I think they're AB as well, yeah they are. Um, and they're absolutely stunning. So this one was put in the pinky, cured, and again, that one was done. Then it was on to, that's what's called, micromyelar. It was on to this finger. These are the flakes that inspired the whole design. I think they're absolutely stunning. The, the whole range of our mylars are stunning. Um, I think I've got a, a show-off slash haul with them. Um, so I put on a base coat, and I think I cured it for maybe 30 seconds. Um, and then dab in the mylar and it, it's just stunning I don't have words to say what I think of this the effect is absolutely beautiful and that was on a clear nail so over a colour it's going to be um, probably looking a little different because obviously the iridescence changes when it goes over a colour so I don't know what these are going to look like over a colour I haven't done it yet but they're absolutely beautiful so I didn't leave it in, but I top coated um, with a rubber top coat and then buffed it down just to make sure there was no sticky out edges. Then I put its final top coat over it and it, it's just, oh look, is that not just delicious? So yeah, that was that. Apparently, I have deleted or lost all the photos that I took of this design. So you've just got my wee face for the time being. Thank you for taking time out to join me. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.